Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you on a journey with me to declutter my pantry. It is the most unorganized hot mess I have seen in a long time. And when I say pantry, I mean this cabinet here and this, uh, this little cabinet here. Uh, I'll just show you. This is the hot mess that is the top and this is the hot mess that is the bottom. So it's hard to find things, uh, things get lost in there. It's just a mess. And then this is mostly spices. And as you can see, it is also a hot mess. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna take you with me. Hopefully it will motivate you to declutter your kitchen, whatever part of it needs decluttered. And hopefully I'll be able to get it done. My son, who is almost one year old, has been with his grandma. And so he's gonna be here soon. And so he will be interrupting which is okay, but um, hopefully I'll be able to get it done with him in here, and hopefully it will not take me a super long time. guys I am all done I got the baking pantry and the full pantry organized to the best of my ability and I'm just gonna take you around and show you where I put everything I do like the way it turned out I didn't wipe down the bottom shelves just because I would have to take out all of those cans and I looked and it wasn't like filthy or anything so I just left those I did wipe out the top ones because it had baking goods in there and so there was a lot of like sugar and flour that had fallen out so those ones I did want to wipe out but I'll just take you through and show you what I did so in the baking pantry, this is all stuff I would use to um, cook like spices, minced onion, things like Italian seasoning, um, oregano, I have salt and pepper and basil. And then this one is more of, um, no, but I told you that backwards. This one is the barbecue stuff that you would use to season meat with, like um, rubs and onion. And these are all my seasoning packets. And then this one is more of cooking stuff like chicken bouillon, cloves, onion powder, things like that. And this is just some onion soup mix I had, my cookbooks, and then up there is miscellaneous, my recipe box, salt, 
baking cocoa, baking soda, and Crisco. I just always leave that stuff up there for some reason. I know all my baking stuff is in this other cabinet, but that's just where I've always had that stuff. So I'm just going to leave it there. And then in this one, I have the rest of my baking stuff, like yeast and vanilla and all that stuff. And then I have brown sugar, powdered sugar, granulated sugar, flour, cornstarch. And then the stuff that I don't really use, like almond flour and dry milk, is in the back back there. And then I have all of our cereals. I threw away a bunch because they were getting old and stale. And then chips, quick oats. These oatmeal I put in here because I don't like this kind. This is the kind that my husband's little brother eats. I keep mine, actually. Come over here. And these little things. See, I have mine in here. So I put the original box that I found in here. That's just where I keep mine because I eat it almost daily. And then these we just put up here to keep out of reach of Ben. And we have our knife set here so we don't really need those we just have them and then I labeled these these I just had one of each so I just labeled them and stuck them in here this is my bowl of sugar for cereal so that looks a lot better and then in this one this top one has always been like our snack shelf so I put the popcorn and my husband's um what are they called little Debbie treats in there and then this is all just snack stuff my Husband's little brother loves to snack on these when he comes home from school. So we have a bunch of those for him. And then, so it's just snacks. And this is dip mixes, and I guess that's a snack. I just didn't know where else to put them. So I just stuck them in there. And then popcorn, and tea, and for Rocher that we got for Christmas. And then this is canned goods and broths. And then boxed goods, peanut butter, and we have a lot of corn syrup. Um, we make Christmas candy. That's the only reason why we have it. And then, so I just have miscellaneous stuff down here too. Anything in a box or in a jar that's not glass I put down here. And then this one is my one-year-old shelf, Benjamin. This is all the stuff that he eats. He eats rice and potatoes and noodles. And he still kind of eats baby food, not really. Just have a couple. And then he loves these puffs these little crunchies he has rice cereal so this is his designated shelf and this is stuff I took out this is pizza sauce and salsa and pasta sauce that we canned that we let expire we used most of it but this is what was left that it's expired we made it in 2016 so it would have expired last year so I'm gonna dump these out so we'll have jars for next time we love our tomato sauce but we didn't really love these things that we can. So I'm going to dump these and that opened up a lot of space for my cans. All right guys, that's it. I hope it motivated you to declutter something. I don't know what you need to declutter. Um, that's an egg that my husband just got from our chickens. It's cold so they're not laying much, but we have some eggs. But thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos. I can do more. And just leave a comment below and let me know. And if you'd hit subscribe, I'd love for you to be part of our YouTube family. And we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.